Hmm. Hey. Hey, what's happening? Hey. Hey. Hey, what's... Are you okay? Oh, okay. Hey, 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 hey. What's wrong? Are you hurt? What's going on? Your fingers. Come here. Just, just, just come here. Oh my goodness. Let me just at least flip on the light. Ah, jeez. Oh, that's bright. I am blind. Just, just give me a second for my eyes to adjust. Okay, there. What's going on? Your hands are all cramped up. Come here. Let me see. Yes, I understand that they hurt. Let me see. All right. I will. I won't touch them if you don't want. Just. I can't just not do anything. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Tears. Like literal tears. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I'm going to very gently touch them. Yes, of course I'm going to be careful. I'm just going to massage them, okay? Trust me. It will make them feel better. It will. I'm just going to start with the hand that you use the most. That, that seems to be the one giving you the most trouble right now. Okay. I know, I know. You see? I'm just going to try to straighten out the fingers. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. They're very stiff. It's okay. It's gonna get better. Okay. All right. And now I'm just gonna start gently working the muscles. Try to get some circulation going. I know it hurts. You're doing so good for me. Just, just breathe. You gotta breathe. Yes, you can. In and out. You got this. You're doing so good. All right. I'm gonna concentrate on the muscle where the base of your fingers start. No, I'm still, we're still working on this hand first. I'm just saying, you know, this is a two-part process, you know. I'm not going to just do one hand and then call it a night, okay? Here we go. So, like I said, I'm going to concentrate on the muscle where the base of your fingers start. The, um, the under part. I have no idea what it's actually called. I know that the lower part is called the heel of the palm. Uh, yeah, so the, the opposite, you know, where all the digits start. 
interdigital. That's what it's called. Oh. Well, well, I mean, I was kind of close. Boom. Is that the spot? Yeah. Yeah, that's the spot. I can feel it. Okay, I'm gonna loosen it up. Get it real loose. Your fingers are starting to relax. That's good. The other hand? Oh, now someone wants me to do the other hand. The one you were hiding from me. You know, babe, I mean, that's really good. That's good that I'm making you feel better. I'm, I'm so glad. Okay, other hand. Let's unclench those fingers. Yeah, there we go. And straight to the interdigital. There we go. Where's the heating pack? Yeah, I'll, I'll toss it in the microwave. Yeah, the heat, that's gonna help so much. Heat relaxes muscles. The muscles relax when they're warm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go warm it up. Okay. This is gonna feel amazing. So, just put your hands on your lap. Yeah, flat, just like that. And I'm gonna lay this heat pack across the top of your knuckles. And then I'm gonna fold the rest of it underneath so it can also warm up your palms. There we go. How does that feel? Yeah, I'll bet it feels good. And drinking water is also helpful when it comes to cramps. Now I know your hands are occupied. I'm going to hold the cup. Wait, wait, hold it. Let me take a sip first. Mm. No, no, it's not too hot. Just warm enough. A little bit of lemon and just a touch of honey. Here we go. Careful. There you go. We're going to take it slow. We're going to try to drink this whole thing. So, I think you might want to lay off of the arts and crafts for a bit. But you're overworking yourself, and your hands are literally attacking you with the velociraptor claws. Yeah, yes, yes, I, I realize that your Etsy shop needs inventory. But at what cost? You're totally wrecking your fingers. It's not fine. No. You can wake me up whenever you need me. It's not that. That is not my point. Oh, jeez. Here, take another sip. running the air conditioning non-stop. 
yeah, I know the humidity and everything like that, and the weather outside is just brutal, but, you know, you're, you're locking yourself in an ice box, essentially, and it's just, it's a lot for your body to handle. And the minute details that you are crafting with needle and thread, it's a lot. Especially when your muscles aren't used to it. Hey, I had a friend who was going out for the fire academy, where they had them climbing up and down those rigid fire escape ladders. You know, the kind that are like bolted to the outside of a building and they're just a straight shot for five floors. They had him doing that. And the next day, I mean, he could not pick up anything. He was in agony. No, no, no. What he did was he made a beeline to the closest drugstore to get braces. And he had no th real function of his hands, so he had to have the, the gal who was working the checkout to help put them on. Well, it worked out pretty well because they're married now. <laughs> yeah, that's how Tony met his wife. I am serious. Anyway. Um, I don't really remember what my point was. Do you? Doesn't matter. Um, how are your hands feeling? Okay, that's good. That's good. I hate to see you in pain. Not, it's, it's the worst. I do not like it at all. Here, have some more water. Good job. Yeah, here's what we're gonna do. We're we are um, we're gonna trade shifts in crafting. Yeah, I'm gonna help. You just tell me what you need me to do. No, on. Um, I have never sewed in my life, but I can learn. Can't I? You're welcome. All right, well, let's finish getting you hydrated, and then it's back to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, we can um, start my crafting apprenticeship. I mean, I can try. <laughs>